What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing. It has simply been too long, okay? But we're back. Um, I've realized uh, these last couple days I really wanted to record, but I've just spent my time doing other things. And I want to get back doing the million, my first million dollar series. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do it every day or like five times a week, but I definitely want to do this series more than I have been in the last week or two. So stay tuned for some more videos. But in this one, I'm going to talk about how I get stuff done because my brain is a mess and I have so many things that I want to get done. I feel like I don't have enough time to do them. So I have a system not completely fine tuned yet, but this is a an overlook of how I actually get stuff done on my day to day because honestly, too many times I find myself on my phone scrolling through Instagram reels um, and YouTube shorts and watching YouTube videos. And then by the end of the day, I get so fired up and I'm like, Oh, I wish I would have done stuff today. I had, I had so much I wanted to do, but I just didn't do it. Oh man, I wish I had more time. But then I look back and I'm like, I literally spent my whole day on my phone doing nothing. So I've learned the best method for me is to write out what I'm going to do. And we will get into that here in just a second. Let me grab my uh, dry erase Sharpie. This bad boy. So I actually have three whiteboards over there right behind you guys. Um, and that's originally what I started using. I just got them from Walmart and I've figured it's kind of good. Um, so I, I bought this bad boy, this big old guy. I don't even have to get up out of my chair to write on it. Um, and as you know, or as you could probably tell, this is uh, my main source of how I get stuff done, but we'll get into that in just a second. Um, I've tried doing it on my phone. I have an app called Notion. Um, it's actually a super cool app and there's like a lot of stuff you can do on it, a lot of customization. And honestly, it's a great app, but I have found that I don't look at the app when I'm trying to to get stuff done. Like I forget about it. It seems like, whereas this whiteboard, I do have to remind myself to look at it, but it's right beside me. Like my desk is right here. So it's right beside me. And recently I've just been in the grind trying to get stuff done, trying to cut out social media and everything like that. Not cut it out, but re definitely reduce my time. I don't know if you can read this, but like over here, one second, give me two seconds. So I actually bought this timer right here. Um, and I've been tracking just for one day. It's I just got this, but I've been tracking kind of how much time I spend on each uh, social media and kind of control my time better by tracking that because... I feel like I've been getting stuff done, but I just have so much I want to do. So let's get into it, shall we? So the main way that I get stuff done is that I make a schedule on my whiteboard. Like I said, I usually don't look at this on my phone. I remember this last year, I had a schedule. I had the Google Calendar and I made notes in there. I made events in there, but I would never look at my phone. And I actually scheduled an event at the same exact time I had something else going on. And I was like, why did I not just look at my phone? I had it on my schedule the whole time. So definitely for me, writing stuff out and doing it every single day is much more effective than typing it out on my phone. And that's something I've just learned over time. Like I've tried it all. I've tried the phone and I've tried this. The only thing I haven't tried is like a notebook writing it down, but then I'd have to carry that around with me everywhere. So this is more effective for me and I can reassess it every day. And that really just came with practice and I'm still trying to work out the kinks and fine tuning everything. Um, so it's great because a whiteboard, it you, you got endless opportunities, okay? 
So up here in the top right, I have some personal goals. So I literally just write everything on this whiteboard and then and then we can also get into like how I actually remind myself to get stuff done every day and like actually what I do. But I'm going to do a brief overview of the whiteboard. So I have my personal goals. This top row, I really don't look at that much. It's just a couple notes I made. So those are my personal goals. I want to get better at painting and drawing. And then I want to get my ham radio license, which is a little quirky, but something I want to do. In this, I had content. I still haven't looked at that. I did the ice bath, but I have a lot more ice bath videos I want to do. Um, and then food for losing weight. I did one video on TikTok for that. It didn't get a lot of views, but I thought maybe I could do it like 10 more times just to, uh, just to see if people enjoy it or not. And then I have a to-do list, which is like make a finance, um, like a finance sheet for investing a finance sheet for my business. Um, and then set aside $400 a month for travel because I want to do one big trip every year, which is kind of a goal of mine. So those are, I don't really look at those very often, but it's nice to glance back at them and remind myself of things. Cause my brain, I don't know if I have like ADHD or whatever, but I don't really care. But my mind goes at like a million miles an hour. And if I don't write it down or make note of it, within like 10 minutes of thinking it, I will probably forget it about an hour later. And I'll be like, oh, what was that? I really want to remember that. So when I'm even like driving in the car, I make a video note to myself, just talking out what I was thinking at the time, because it, it kind of stresses me out when I'm thinking of something and then I forget it, but I really wanted to make note of it. So those are just like big things, big ideas that are more long-term um, not necessarily in the day-to-day. -day. Another thing that's long-term is my business because I've been thinking a lot more about business recently. I'll make a video on that. But those are just a lot of <laughs> a lot of things I could be thinking about for my business. Like That is a whole other video in, in and of itself. I have this quote here, winners and losers have the same goals, just because it's probably my favorite quote right, ne right now. Um, and it's really about, yeah, it's just my favorite quote. So I like to have that there. Make a video about this board. Check. I can make a, I'll watch this. Boom. If I had a, oh, and then I made a note about like how I could be more efficient in my day-to-day -day life or like a question. So I just do like random things around here. I have video ideas over here. I have think about this. Uh, for business, it's how would I destroy my business? It's a good way to think of like how to stay in business for a while. You just think anyways, next I have what would make my life more efficient again over there and then stop thinking so small. So these are more related to business. And then I have my social media tracker and then the really meat and potatoes. Sometimes I have it here but right now it is up here and that is my to-do list, which I update every day. So today we got gym up here. I already went to the gym. I already did my laundry. I do have to put it in the dryer. I'm making a video right now. I posted a short and then I, I have work later. So my to-do list is like, it is the biggest thing that helps me in my day-to-day -day life. Because the night before or the day before, I plan for the next day. So today, I'm going to be planning for tomorrow. I guess we could do this right now, but I don't really have everything I'm thinking about. So really, the biggest thing that helps me do stuff is to make a to-do list for the next day. And it seems very simple but it's what helps me get stuff done because I don't want to let myself down. So usually I have like gym and if I want to wake up by a certain time, I put gym six o'clock. Like I have to or wake up six o'clock gym by six thirty, And I will literally write that out if I want to get up at those times because it, it's so satisfying to be able to cross that off the list. And I want to see that. Look at that. 
I got all those crosses and I'll, all I have to do is go to work, which unless I get hit by a car or something, then I'm going to be going to work. So for some reason, this is a really good technique for me. And another step to this, another layer is if I've been wanting to do something or if it's super important, I will put a deadline on it. And it's funny because in high school, I was so bad with deadlines and I would procrastinate and I would never turn in my homework on time. But for some reason now in real life, (laughs) uh, deadlines really work for me. And if I don't get those deadlines, I will make a note of a consequence. So a lot of the time I will make go, uh, let's, let's think of a good one. Make two, sorry, edit two shorts videos, post one, and then I will put a date. So like one twenty seven, and then I will make a note beside that. And I'll put a star beside all the ones that I have to get done by those dates. And if I don't get them done, a consequence would be that I don't get coffee for a week. So it's just that extra step. And it's really, it's like an accountability partner, but also my scheduling at the same time. And it's really worked out for me because I love my coffee, okay? I've recently been getting like two coffees a day. So if I don't have coffee for a week, I want to get that done. So a lot of the time I will do expenses, input expenses, and then I'll have a deadline, usually the next day. And that is really what helps me out. So that is it. That is this whiteboard already in the couple months I've owned it has been very useful for me and it helps me get stuff done. Another idea I have is because I have those extra whiteboards over there, I'm thinking of making like a calendar for my business because I only have like two or three months until my business actually needs to get rolling and I have so much stuff I need to get done. So I'm trying to think of maybe starting a schedule on that whiteboard and setting dates that I have to get stuff done because I have a lot of ideas and a lot of stuff to work through in these next couple of months. So I kind of want to do one like that and then one for my personal life, just like video ideas I, I have that I want to post and stuff like that. So that that is the insight into how I get stuff done. I hope maybe you could try this out. I bought like those $20 whiteboards at Walmart to test it out and those aren't as effective for me because you really have to look at those unless they're like hanging up. But for this one, I don't really have a choice because it's sitting in the middle of my room. My bed's over here. My desk is over here. I eat dinner, lunch, breakfast all over here, and I sleep here. So it's like it's part of my everyday life, basically. So I hope I hope this uh, maybe helps somebody out. Um, it certainly has helped me out, and I wish I'm going to keep trying, like making schedules on my phone, especially during this next season in my business, because I... I do have to have a written out schedule, whether that's handwritten or on my phone. So those are just a couple tips about how I get things done. I do want to start rolling out more of these My First Million because I really do enjoy them. I I wanted to film so bad yesterday, but I had to go to work and I was like, ah, I'm going to film tomorrow. Um, I do have... Yeah, I don't know. I was just, I, I blanked right there. So that was fun. I will keep you guys updated. I will uh, hopefully start releasing more of these videos. And uh, I hope this helps somebody out. I hope this helped you guys out. Stay tuned for some more videos. I'm going to stop saying videos and I will see you guys in the next video.